everybody. Welcome to another chat uh, here on our Facebook page. It's good to have you here with us. You may be watching on YouTube. Um, I'm going to read a, a, a scripture to you. This is John uh, chapter 8, verses 10 11. It goes like this Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Isn't that interesting? That here's a woman who was in some type of sin going on in her life, and people had brought her out to condemn her of that. And instead of being able to stone the woman there, Jesus begins to write down in the sand, which we don't know what he wrote, but we have a lot of different ideas of what he may have written. He begins to write in the sand, and one by one the accusers walk away. And then Jesus says to the woman, Where are your accusers? Is there anyone to condemn you? And she says, No, they've all gone. And Jesus says these amazing, powerful words. He says, I'm not condemning you either for this sin in your life. But what I want you to do is receive and walk in repentance and go and sin no more. Now, what does that mean? Um, it means to turn from what you're doing and where you've been and turn to the Lord. And, and the moment that we do that, we're, we're being empowered here by the Lord Jesus and by the Holy Spirit living in us. That we have the power of God in us to make the choice, to make the decision not to walk in a sinful way. To go and sin no more. And so... There's no condemnation even from the sin of the past and even the sin that you're walking in now. If you would simply and I would simply turn from it and just begin to walk towards the Lord, man, you're just walking in repentance at that moment. And that's what repentance is. It means to turn away from and turn to the Lord. But sometimes you may find uh, that you have to do this several times in a day. Hey, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep turning away from There's no condemnation. We beat ourselves up. For stuff that we do we beat ourselves up for things in the past we beat ourselves up for things that we're doing right now we beat ourselves up for things we just did five minutes ago and and god is not there beating us up he's always saying just like jesus did look turn to me right now come on sin no more you have the power in you to be able to walk in a free life and a free lifestyle and to not walk in a sinful way so do that this week if you're struggling with something if you're going around the mountain in something just begin to pray. Just say, God, give me the strength. Give me the, give me the ability now to begin to walk towards you and away from what I've been walking in or where I've been going. And then just turn and go. And don't let any condemnation creep up into your heart or into your mind. The enemy is going to begin to accuse you immediately. That's why the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. He's there to accuse at every moment and to condemn. But just as Jesus says in this passage, I don't condemn you either. So hear those words this week. You are not condemned. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Just turn to the Lord this week and begin to walk towards him. And you have the power to do that. Just go and sin no more. Is it even possible? Of course it is. Jesus wouldn't have said it if it wasn't. You can do it. It is great. It is wonderful. It is powerful. So begin to walk towards the Lord this week. There's no condemnation for you. God's given you a clean slate the moment that you turn and repent and turn towards him. So be empowered this week. Go and sin no more.